those of you who keep praying and praying and hanging on to what you know is right uh, for your deepest and truest desires uh, for your life, for your family, for your loved ones. Uh, we mustn't lose heart, we must keep praying uh, and believe uh, and trust in God that he is our shepherd, uh, our loving parent and that he cares for us uh, as uh, dearest children. Now, God is not like uh, this selfish and unrighteous judge. He couldn't care less whether this widow and her children lived or died, but because she wouldn't let it go, because she kept on uh, turning up and uh, banging on his door day after day after day, in the end, he decided to give her what she wanted because she was wearing him out. And so it was a win-win situation. Uh, she got what she needed uh, and he got his peace and quiet back. Now, when Jesus uh, spoke this parable, uh, he was taking part in a Jewish tradition of, of speaking uh, these little stories, these little anecdotes, which could have come almost from real life. They were so realistic. Uh, so he is not saying here that God uh, is like that man, that God uh, doesn't want to be pestered all the time and he'll only grudgingly give us what we want, shut us up and give himself a bit of peace. No, 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 it's not if this cruel judge uh, can do what is right to this woman, then will not the God of all the earth do right? Let's make no mistake about it. God is the God of justice and God is the judge of all the earth. He sees everything, uh, even the deepest thoughts and motivations of our hearts. But that is wonderful news because God is outraged, outraged at injustice, at the way that the poor and the most vulnerable of people are frequently treated. How do I know this? Because uh, Jesus here is God come down to earth. Jesus here is demonstrating the heart of God. Now what does all this have to do with the way that we pray? Well, half-hearted, uh, desultory sort of prayers will get us nowhere. Unless we really mean business, unless we are persistent like this woman. Secret is uh, in that final verse of the passage. Jesus says to them, but when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Ah, ah, so it's faith. Jesus, the Son of Man, is looking for faith. What is faith? It's the expectation that God can do something. It's not the uh, belief that we can change it by struggling uh, or by our own effort, but that God will do it uh, because God is a God of love uh, and a God uh, who cares for and values his people. You know, loss of faith leads to passivity, doesn't it? Uh, it leads to depression. It leads to inactivity and that you just get that, oh dear, everything is too much and you just don't feel like doing anything at all. Now that uh, I'm getting older, that I'm finding answers to prayers, that I prayed in my teenage years and that gives me hope because I know that there will be still more prayers, prayers for loved ones and so on, uh, that God will honour uh, and uh, that uh, inspires my faith to keep praying for them.